YouTubers. I'm getting ready to do an oatmeal honey facial mask. I have problems with my skin. Like, I'm just getting it back up on its feet without any acne going on. And what I really need is something a little bit gentle for my face. Um, I've just been scrubbing a little bit too much than I should have, and I'm irritating my skin. So, let's get to it. I'll show you everything that you need and what you should do, and then I'll take a picture or I'll post what I actually look like with it on and when it's dried. So, we'll see you in a bit. Hello there. Now, to get started, what you'll need is some shape and form of honey. Please don't get the, the really, really bad kind, you know, that says, oh, it has high fructose corn syrup in the back. That's not what you want. It shouldn't have any type of ingredients on the back whatsoever. It should just be honey. Now, this says pure honey, which is what my mother bought. Um, it's clover, U.S. Uh, grade A. But... The best kind of honey to buy is the one that has, like, sometimes it even has bee chunks in it. It'll have, like, the honeycomb. So that's something that you'll want to pick up. The darker the honey, the better. That's something to really remember. And then we have your quick, one minute, quick rope. Um, you can use any kind of oatmeal. You can use the quick minute. It doesn't matter whatever suits your fancy. If you want to, you can even put these in a coffee grinder. Um, you can grate these up yourself to make it smaller. Consistency, if you don't like the big chunks on your face, it's all up to you. And, of course, you'll need a glove to apply your facial mask with. And then you'll need a towel for, you know, just in case you get like a little messy, <laughs> which I'm so the queen of. You'll, it's always good to have a towel around no matter what you're doing. And then what you do, you put one fourth, uh, uh, one fourth of a cup in your bowl. You'll need a bowl, of course. This is a relatively small bowl. It looks really big, but it's really small. And then one fourth of a cup of Quaker Oats. And how much ever honey that you want, really, because you might need this to make this really sticky. Like, you need it to make it really sticky so it'll stick to your face. This is what's really helping. This is going to get rid of those blemishes, you know, soften up the skin, and it probably could refine your pores. It draws out of a lot of toxins, and I just think honey is so awesome. After you've mixed your water in your oatmeal, I'd put it in the microwave for about a minute since the oatmeal will probably cook in a minute. It'll be really hot, so I wouldn't suggest putting it on your face. And then, after it's out of the microwave, you go ahead and you put it in the refrigerator. Wait a couple of minutes. So I'm not sure how cold yours will be after a couple of minutes because I left mine in there for like a really long, and then I had to let it sit out to get room temperature. I noticed that it was really watery, so I went ahead and got some Quaker Oats raw. I didn't cook it again, and I sprinkled some in here until I felt like I got a really, really nice consist consistency and that it would be thick enough to fill in my face. So, let's get to it. Hello. Um, I've put the mask all over my face. Actually, what I did first, I coated a thick, medium to thick coating of honey all over my face, and then I pressed some raw oats into my skin, and then I pressed a layer of the cooked oatmeal mixed with honey all over my face, and I kept pressing in a little bit of raw oats with my glove, and you will need two gloves instead of one, and um... 
it's really sticky. It's really, really messy, and I would recommend doing this over a sink. Definitely do it over a sink, because it'll just get stuff everywhere. So, I'm glad I did it over a sink, because it fell all into the sink, which was just fine with me. Um, I'm gonna let this dry for 15, 10 to 15 minutes, and I'm gonna go watch Where the Heart Is, who haven't seen it in a long time. And I will get back to you when this is all dry, and I'll dry it off and give you my information on what happened to my skin. And as I'm talking, they're, like, rolling down my shirt, but I have, like, a towel, like, under me, so, so they can fall. So, I'll get right back to you. Hey, I'm back, and I've just washed all of the mask off my face with lukewarm water. While I had the mask on, it really, it dried, like, it got really, really sticky, like, if, as long as you don't touch your face, like, I didn't have much fallout coming off my face. It was really a great experience, like, it was just, you could just feel, like, the sticky tightness as it, like, gets drier. And it didn't really get too dry. It pretty much still looked the same. And um, I washed it off with lukewarm, well, actually warm water in the kitchen sink. I would, just for safety precautions, I would do it in the kitchen sink if you're wanting to rinse the whole product off to your face. Just because you don't want to clog your bathroom drain and you might want to do it in the part that has the garbage disposal. Um, my face feels so, so soft, like, it's, it's so soft, and it's moisturized, like, it's not tight whatsoever, my face feels completely clean, it feels a little bit more relaxed, I think that's coming from the oatmeal, like, my skin just feels unbelievably soft, almost, it feels as soft as the Clinique, after, like, when I put the Clinique, a dramatically different moisturizing gel. It feels like that. It's wonderful. And um I'd recommend doing this. Like it's sticky, it's messy. You just have to whip it and keep it under control. I'd try it. Go for it. I hope this helped. Um my skin feels awesome. Like I feel relaxed. Like I can go to sleep now. <laughs> I really could. So um Thanks for watching, and I hope you try this. And if you do, you know, please post a video response or comment if you tried it or if you'd like to try it or if you wouldn't like to try it. You know, just leave me a comment. Thanks.